Hi, today I'm going to be telling you how you can solve the error codes for parsec 6023 or 6024. So, unable to negotiate a successful connection. So, basically, your uh, network is blocking parsec, right? So, the most obvious and common solution is just to restart the computer and the router. And this can sometimes fix it, sometimes it won't. And another common issue is that you accidentally block parsec on your firewall, right? So, if you want to allow your parsec to your firewall, you just need to press the window key plus R to and paste the control firewall CPL and press enter. And then you need to allow, allow an app or a feature in the sidebar. And then you can click change settings for parsec and enable the checkboxes and then click OK, right? If you want to absolute, if you want to be absolutely sure your firewall is in the corporate, you can also disable it temporarily by going to turn Windows Defender on and off. But after you do this, don't forget to turn it on again because if you have your firewall off for a long time, that could expose you to some security issue. And you need to also make sure that your home isn't using two routers because that can also be a potential issue for Parsec. And then you can also check if your network is too restrictive, like carrier create NAT. One of the main issues that can prevent a connection from happening is when your internet provider use carrier create NAT in their infrastructure, right? So how do I check if you have, how do you can, how can you check if you have this issue? First, you have to press the window R key R. So I'm going to demonstrate it here as well. And you just need to, uh, there's copy and paste this. So copy. And then back here, you can just paste that in and you click on OK, right? And then press enter, a new plug window will show up. Wait for a while until it shows trace complete. You'll see a list of IPs in the window right there, right? So I'm not going to open it again because then it'll talk to myself because there will be my IP right there. But you'll need to check if any of the IPs in the black window except the first IP are in this list. So this, right? If you see any that are in that list, that is bad news because you're likely behind a carrier create need. The exception is if the IP you saw has the exact first three set of number in your IP black window, which means it can be safely ignored. So if you want to solve this, if both sides have the issue, either side can request to get a dynamic or stop a static public IP from that internet provider. But if you want to do that, then you'll have to call up your internet provider. You'll need to uh, go through the process with them. And sometimes it's free. Sometimes it's they have a little fee. But if only one site has the issue, the site does not have the issue, can try to configure their router, which might be all that is needed to get your network open enough for Parsec to work.